fat shaming. We've recently seen it happen to celebrities like Kelly Clarkson, Melissa McCarthy. But when is it fat shaming versus, say, motivation? Well, a lot of folks have different opinions, certainly John Burke. To the overweight people, I'm not gonna accept you for who you are with that excuse of you should love me because I'm beautiful. Your personality might be beautiful, but your body is not. When I sit there and I look at somebody that's overweight, I find that utterly repulsive and disgusting. Why? Because it shows a lack of self-discipline. There are certain situations when you deal with a thyroid problem and things just like that. But for the most people, they try and come up with some excuse as to why they can be the way they are. And you know what I'm looking for right behind them? The children that are exactly the same way. And it requires some effort on your part to get up there and take an active role in your children's life. Do it for the sake of your children, people. This isn't me being angry. This isn't me trying to fat shame. This is me saying you need to change your life before a doctor comes in and says, look, I'm sorry, there's nothing else we can do. Get out there and get active. Ooh. And John joins us. And John, first thing I'm gonna ask is, is what was the motivation? What, what pushed you to make this video in the first place? Well, originally I started the uh, John Burke Fitness Motivator Facebook page. And I posted similar videos, nothing like this, quite like this but it was mainly trying to motivate people to make changes in their life by offering basic gym and nutrition advice, just very simple stuff. And I got a huge response of people making excuses. And so eventually I got fed up with it and I started you know, looking around more and more and I've noticed this society is all about let's make an excuse or let's put it off. Give you some know. examples of some excuses that you Oh, uh, I just don't have the time. Um, I was a drill sergeant for two years. I was overweight as well. I went from 175 when I first enlisted into the Army. I got out for about an hour and a, or a, a year and a half, excuse me. And I went up to 250 pounds. As a drill sergeant, you get up at 04 in the morning to train your soldiers. I got up at 03 just to go to the gym. I prepared my meals. And we didn't get off of work until sometimes 8, 9 o'clock at night, working six days a week. It's how bad you want it. I noticed in the video, you, you said that people who were kind of overweight were, I think the word used was disgusting to you. The lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The lifestyle of being sedimentary. I don't believe, personally, I don't believe that the human body is made to sit on a couch or a chair and do nothing. It's not healthy. Mm -hmm. So for me, it, it doesn't even just go into fitness. It goes in towards motivating yourself for your life. Are you satisfied with being mediocre? Are you satisfied with watching everybody else go after their goals and pursue a better lifestyle? Or are you just content sitting on the you chair? Know, you know what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing you as a drill sergeant because when I watched it, it was really hard, really hard I'm a little for me scared. to watch yeah. it. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting because some of your comments I completely disagree with. Other parts of your comments, especially the part about your health, mm -hmm. I agreed with, but it was you were being a drill sergeant we know drill sergeants say things mm -hmm. to motivate that they don't even truly believe. Mm -hmm. Deep down is my question. Do, do you really believe that, that this is fat shaming to some extent, but that this is just the tactic you're using as a quote unquote drill sergeant for your, for your clients, et cetera? Absolutely not. Like I said, I was overweight. I've been bullied. I've been fat shamed. For me, yes, it is a drill sergeant style mentality, but you gotta understand where I'm coming from. In my line of work, fitness saves your life. I trained kids to go into combat. I led men in Afghanistan, I led men in Iraq. In the mountains of Afghanistan, you're pushing up to seven, eight, nine thousand feet elevation with 80, 90, 100 pounds of gear on your back. But let's apply that towards life. Weight loss, is it easy? Absolutely not. It takes a dedicated mindset to go out there and change your body because but you gotta have an inward change before the John, outward I, I think that, first of all, to give you the benefit of the doubt, I think that it might be right message, wrong execution for some people. Mm -hmm. I also, but I, I do, again, want to give you the benefit of the doubt and think that your, at least your intentions are in the right place. Um, and certainly from a military perspective, yes, okay, for sure. But I think when you look into what we know about obesity medicine, and I think you would acknowledge you're not a medical professional, right. so your background is more fitness and nutrition and military and, and workouts. We know in obesity medicine that obesity is a multifactorial disease. So the least of it, and I just came out of an obesity medicine course, the least of it actually is willpower. These signals start in the brain, there are neurohormonal, there are genetic, there are metabolic factors that you can be the most well-intentioned, motivated individual and still not be able to lose weight.